Good morning. So today we're gonna to be making my CMOS tea. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this. Hey everybody, it's Kylie Kanzader and I am here to inspire you along your health journey. And today is a really quick video because I wanted to show you guys how I actually make my CMOS tea. In my last video about CMOS, I showed you how I made my CMOS gel. And I'm gonna show you how I use that gel every day in my CMOS tea. Um, really super easy, you can do this. CMOS to me kind of gives me the same texture as adding fiber to my tea. It doesn't really have a taste to it. It dissolves, it's super easy, and you get all those minerals you need to start your day off the right way. So let's go ahead and make this tea. Using today, um, I have some hot water, and then I have some burdock tea and some peach honey tea here. They're both organic teas. I talked about burdock root before in both my tea and my yoni seed video, so check that out. And then I just love the taste of a herbal peach tea. And I got this tea from Target and this tea I got from my local health store. And then here is my CMOS gel. I'm halfway through it. So, so thankful for that. Um, it's been a great week so far on it and I can't wait to share with you guys how that's working out. And then here I have some whipped honey with lemon. And this is from the Savannah Bee Company. I ran out of my regular honey and I love, love, love this company. They have a store in Charleston that I always like to visit. So we're using this today. So first and foremost, you can use any flavored tea with your CMOS. It just is something that is tasteless. If you wanna just add CMOS to your water, you can, but y'all know I'm a tea girl. So today we gonna mix our little flavors together and get this here. Right that noise it's because clay's at home with me today um so yeah we we don't make this work <laughs> um but all i'm gonna do is take a spoon of my cmos gel and y'all i'm so proud of myself um it's been about four days and i'm almost done with this i've used cmos i'm gonna use two cups two spoons of this but um I've used CMOS mainly in my smoothies and just taking a cup of it, a cup of it, <laughs> a spoonful of it in the morning. And then I also use two spoons of it in my tea. So I've made it halfway through this mason jar and I'm super excited about that. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like while I'm spinning because it does look chunky in the beginning. <laughs> Clay. It does look chunky in the beginning, but, um. You want some more? Okay, mommy, get you some more. We just came from outside and it's snack time and Clay is tearing up his fruit right now. And I have uh, cut up some fresh pineapples in his fruit because it's that time of the year where germs are spinning and he has a little snotty nose. So we gonna get that under control. Okay, so here is what my tea looks like as I stir it. And it's starting to dissolve and those little chunks go away as I stir. It takes a little time because I've had it in the refrigerator, which it, where it needs to be. But I just spin it up until it dissolves. And as you guys can see, there's still some chunks in there, but we gonna ride this out because honestly, by the time I let my tea steep, all those chunks are gone. Okay, so I've stirred in my sea moss. Now I'm just gonna open up my tea. And if you buy these tea from Buddha, if you buy these tea from Buddha teas, make sure you're carefully opening it because I've toyed these bags a couple of times opening this up. Just put in my burdock root, which is just a great blood cleanser and it has so many health benefits to it. And then for taste, I'm adding some peach tea. So I'll add that on in there. Spin it around a little bit, let it steep. By the time this steeps, this is going to be fully dissolved. Well, the sea moss will be fully dissolved and then ready to drink. 
let that sit for a sec. So far with my CMOS, I have used it for my smoothies, my teas, and I have just taken spoonfuls of it throughout my day. And there has been a lot of great health benefits of this so far that I've been able to see. The biggest one is y'all, I poop regularly now. I know TMI, but it'll get you right. Okay, so here is my foggy sea moss tea. Most of it has dissolved, not all of it, but that's okay because it's tasteless. It might just taste like if there's a little grit in there, but you honestly don't taste anything other than the flavor tea that you put in there. Okay, so I'm gonna add in a little bit of this whipped honey. Mm. And that's what it looks like if you were curious. And if you're like me and you're crazy about just honey in general, you need to visit their store. Um, the one in Savannah has like this wall of honey. They have lavender honey. They got all kind of honey. And this isn't the only honey brand, but yeah, I love them. I do. Mm. Tastes good. And even though there are still a couple of chunks of sea moss in my tea, I don't even taste it going down. All right, guys, so there you have it. An easy way to make some sea moss tea that I'm pretty sure you love. And it's easy just to get through your sea moss. So if you're trying to find a way to actually consume your sea moss, put it in tea, girl. All right, thank you guys so much for coming on in. There's so much more content I have to actually do this week. So there will be a, probably another video tonight because my last video that I did just sharing where I was with my cycle, there were a couple of questions that came up about how I actually use vitamins to get to a healthy place. So I am gonna do another update video about that so you can have it. And hopefully I can get that done today with this little one in the house. You done? Yeah. All right guys, until next time. Peace.